Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Live in the Life show. I'm your host, Columbus Cody. Thank you so much for joining me today for the verse of the day. Now, today's verse of the day is one that we have to, and I repeat, we have to take heed to because it is the most important job of the believer. This is the duty that oftentimes we overlook, and it's the main thing we should be focusing on. All right, let's look at it, shall we? Today's verse of the day comes from Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, and this is what it says. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go. Our job is not just to go to church and to praise God. That's a wonderful thing. Our job is to go into the world and make disciples of other men, other women. He told Peter when, when Jesus started gathering his disciples, he told his disciples that he would make them fishers of men. They were already fishermen, but he said, I will make you fisher of men. I will teach you how to fish for people, how to go and get more people. See, Jesus started with 12 guys and changed the whole world. You and I, we've been given this this is called the Great Commission. This is the last instructions that Jesus leaves us before he goes back to heaven. And he says, this is what I need you to do. Go. Go. I need you to go and teach this to the other nations. I need you to go and make disciples. A disciple is a learner, is a student. Now, one, I've been a teacher for nearly 20 years now, and this is what I've learned. It's hard to teach someone something that you don't know yourself. Let that sink in. If I really don't know Christ, I'm not going to be able to teach someone else to come to know Christ. OK, and if I'm not a good disciple, I'm not going to be able to persuade someone else to be a good disciple. Our main job on this earth is to disciple others. Don't worry about trying to start with the world. Disciple one. Teach one. And what do you teach them? You teach them what you know. Believe it or not, when you start teaching the word of God, it's a it's a twofold blessing. Let me tell you why. One, it forces you to learn more so that you can teach more. Two, it allows you to share and to allow you to see how God will use you, an unworthy vessel, to be a blessing to many others. That is one of my greatest joys in life is watching how God has used my life over these years to encourage so many others. I went from being a boy who didn't like going to church I couldn't stand going to church to a man who loves God with his whole heart and wants to help others do the same, wants to teach others about how good God is. I want to make as many disciples as I can, but I'm not focusing on trying to disciple the whole world. I'm just focusing on you right now. That's how important you are to me right now. But one of the things I learned about discipling is that it takes time. You can't expect to preach one sermon to people and that's it. You have to invest time into people. Discipling is more than just teaching a person scripture. It's helping them to learn how to use what they know. So you and I, we are tasked. We are given this charge to go and make disciples of all nations. That is your job. That is my job. We need to take that job seriously. We focus on the baptizing part, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. But if you baptize someone and they have no desire to follow God, they don't know what to do after they come up out of the water, what have we done for them? Go and make disciples of all nations. You and I today have the opportunity to help another grow closer to God. You and I have the opportunity to show the world the light that's within us. And when we do that, you may have people that will come to you and ask you questions and ask you for guidance. And what that does is it gives you a chance to disciple someone else, to help someone else in their spiritual journey. And that is the greatest job that you can do on this earth. The Great Commission, go and make more disciples. The great response, yes, Lord, I will do as you have said. All right. I pray today's verse of the day blesses you. I pray that it encourages. I pray that it challenges you to really look within and say, you know what? Am I just coasting in my relationship with God or am I actually taking this my role seriously as a disciple maker? 
Am I discipling anyone? Am I showing anyone how to live for God? Or is it every man for himself? Is it, hey, I got mine, you go get yours. That's not the spirit that we should have. We should have a spirit of how can I help you come to know the Father better? Pray that it blesses you. Pray that you'll bless someone else with it. Encourage someone else. This is a great chance to start your discipling. Share this video with someone else. All right. Make sure you watch it, share it, and live it. God bless you guys. Let's get busy living the life.